you gotta practice man you gotta practice it's not ever easy becoming self-aware is something that I feel we always lack right because we get caught up in the moment and we don't actually see ourselves in that moment we always just get that narrow vision and we focus on whatever it is we're trying to do now whether that's conversation you might actually be in a fight or you may be in a situation where you were just talking to someone you get angry or there might be some other emotion you're going through and so you forget about what you're actually doing right it's like almost like an out-of-body experience but how can you actually you know become more self-aware in your situations like that and it's always important to actually you know be able to focus on yourself and how you're feeling right you know like in a general state like how are you feeling like a general state maybe you feel relaxed maybe you know you don't really feel much of anything at all right but to build that awareness you need to actually know like okay well I'm right this minute you know I feel like my blood pressure is starting to rise I'm starting to feel hot I'm starting to feel angry I'm starting to you know realize what is actually going on with my body and that's the best way to be self-aware right and being self-correcting right and it can be the same way especially if you are trying to correct something you're, you're talking about right if you're trying to communicate with somebody and you want to stop saying something right like uh or and or whatever it is you try to always latch on to those words right or try to actually think of those words before you actually say them and subconsciously put that in the back of your mind right so the more you do this the more you actually realize that you can catch it before it's actually being done so going back to the example with your body right so you perhaps whenever you feel like you're gonna say something bad and so if if you're in a relationship and you don't want to fight anymore right and you realize you're getting angry and stuff like that you want to look for those cues right you want to look to see if you start you know you get in that hot flash if you start actually you know feeling angry feeling tense right you want to start picking up on these subtle cues and then try to correct yourself be like oh okay I'm getting angry maybe I need to step back maybe I need to take a breath maybe I need to tell the other person wait hold on you know right now maybe not a good time to be discussing anything because I'm getting a, I'm getting angry and so I need to you know correct that I need to you know take a step back and really analyze what is making me so upset about the conversation that's you know infuriating me and so that's ultimately what you, what you want to try to do right is to notice those subtle cues whether that's talking to somebody or your emotion during that particular time and and again just continue to redo that right continue to reiterate that continue to try to correct that and the more you do this the more you try to you know tap into those cues the better you actually get at it right it's like anything you have to continuously practice to try to do this to become more self-aware and a lot of times you know even from the, the best people right that are that are really good at being self-aware right it's it still takes effort right like sometimes you can do it so much to where you can actually subliminally you know program that stuff in the back of your mind so that you know that you will never say that word again or that you know that when this you know feeling comes up you can stop yourself beforehand and there are other things that maybe you've grown up with that may take a lot more effort on your behalf to actually continuously trying to you know correct that and there are some things like even myself that I have grown up naturally doing right like I've never been a very chatty person and stuff like that so it's just trying to correct those little things right and and understand when you see those cues what you should do right not just identifying the cues it's to actually correct it in a better way right so if there's something you're trying to correct maybe you're trying to stop the us in your communication so you know as soon as you realize that in your subconscious before you actually say it you realize you're getting ready to say it and you can stop yourself and then just instead replace that uh with a pause or something and allow yourself to you know subconsciously start thinking about these things and the more you practice that the better it starts firing right so the better you can actually wire that to the point to where 
you know, you quit saying it. Or again, when that situation comes up and you start feeling tense and angry, that you can stop yourself and either one, try to correct it on the spot, and if you can't do that, to actually remove yourself from that situation. And so, there's a bunch of different little things, and that's the best way to be self-aware, is to constantly be monitoring the way you're feeling, you know, what you're actually saying. It's just monitoring these things, right? Having essentially that audit that is constantly going in your body, right? And making sure that you are, again, correcting this stuff when it comes up. And again, the longer you practice this, the more you are out and about, now whatever the situation is that you are trying to correct, trying to put yourself in more of those situations, right? And before going into that situation, you know, picture yourself, what are you doing, right? What are you doing that you want to try to stop, right? And then, you know, visualize yourself actually doing whatever it is that you're, the opposite of whatever you're trying to do, and visualize that and what you would say, right? If you're trying to correct something in your speech or what you're saying, you know, visualize yourself saying that specifically as opposed to whatever the opposite is that you're trying to correct and the same goes for you know whatever it is that you're you're trying to correct if you feel like you get angry all the time it's the same kind of thing right so if you can put yourself in that situation and try to identify that and continuously play that in your mind right like every maybe maybe it's every night before you go to bed or every morning you want to try to you know look at that thing that you're trying to correct and and constantly be trying to you know shape that reform that and and visualize that and put that in the back of your subconscious because the more you you burn that into the back of the subconscious you know the more the more fluid it comes the more the better it gets right the better at self-correcting you can get and so these are just some things that I've really found that have helped me in anything I've been trying to correct be more self-aware and allow yourself to to realize right that you have to take a step back and especially in a lot of situations you know we we get again so tunnel visioned about specific things that we again have this out-of-body experience and then you know we lose all sense of you know how we're feeling and all these different kinds of things because we get caught up in that moment and I've always talked about being in the moment and yes you should be in the moment but you have to be so much so to where you can actually correct it right we can kind of like almost look at your per look at yourself in a third person and realize that hey I'm, I'm doing stuff here that I don't want to be doing and, and then self-correct that right before it perhaps it gets out of hand for you know whatever reason maybe again you might say something you don't want to say and this is what's important right to try to self-correct and the, a good way to to discipline yourself right is to constantly be monitoring again you know, the, the way you're feeling you know get a good baseline for all these things again when you're doing your visualization and everything make sure you have a good baseline how you're feeling so that way you know you can periodically go throughout the day and kind of check and see how you're feeling kind of check and see you know maybe just do some videos or something you know talk right or go on instagram goes on some other platform or whatever it is and practice just talking and you realize that and you start again picking up on these cues and the more frequently you do it you know the better you get at these things and uh, again becoming better self-aware so i hope this helps you guys if it has smash that like button and until next time i will see you guys later